hi guys angela here welcome back to my channel angela mutavi art today i am going to uh, do a dip a canvas dip to make a flower and these are the paints i'm gonna be using so magenta violet deep green pale green lemon yellow crimson red moss black titanium white okay this is gonna be interesting and fun we are going to uh, start by and I'm using a, a, a 9 by I'm using a 9 by 11 canvas and what I'm planning on doing is this is a really really nice um, mat that I got this is a painting mat that does not stick the paint does not stick on it so what I'm gonna do is I am going to mark the areas that I want my dip to be and I'll mark it with black like moss black I don't like using deep black because it just does not my canvas is black anyway so what I'm doing right now I'm just marking where I want my paint to be I'll remove the canvas put it aside for a minute and then I'll go ahead and just just put my paint in the area that I marked just inside like this and and because this mat does not it's a non-stick mat what I'm gonna do is once I have done my dip and I have the the paint the paint that is going to be left on the mat it's actually gonna be another flower and I'm gonna sit on it I'm just gonna wait until it dries and then I am going to um, peel it out and I will have a skin okay so uh, I do have a palette knife knife here um, so basically I just spread my paint evenly on the uh, on the mat I'm going to try to make sure that it does not uh, go over the lines, you know, the the perimeter, the inside of my, where my canvas will be, where I'm going to dip my canvas. Alright, so I can add a little bit more paint to the areas that don't have enough. That way when we dip it plus we're gonna have um other colors in there like the colors that i showed you i'm gonna put them on inside this area and i'll show you how i'm gonna do it start with the magenta now make i'll try to do it in the middle more in the middle because well, actually, I can do like a circle like that. My paint is a little bit watery, more watery than I, I like. see we have to have this very symmetrical otherwise it's not gonna fit in right all right now that will be followed by what can I follow that with 
probably a white. We'll do a white around it. And they're all going to be the same. Yeah, where you can see and then I'll just lay it down slowly make sure I don't touch any paint all right make sure I don't move this canvas sideways because that's gonna distort my flowers so all I do is really just press it down press it down good see why you see all these paint coming out that's not good because that means that the, the converts is completely covered inside the converts will be covered by the paint so now the challenge is how am I gonna get it out without touching because this is a canvas board so I might have to do it from the side but hmm I'm gonna find another way of doing this I'm not sure all right well we'll do it from the side To make sure your finger is in there good and just lift slowly slowly it's really suctioned in there it's really tight slowly slowly look how beautiful this is so that's how that turned out. So let's go ahead and torch it. This one you can torch harder because it's a canvas. It's not my mat. Oh wow, look how beautiful that turned out. It's a beauty. Very beautiful. So we're gonna put this on the on side on the side here, and I'll show you more of it in a little bit. Now, what I was saying here, this we also need a torch. So now we have another flower, two flowers. That one, the one on the canvas, and this one on the mat. So what I'm gonna do on this one on the mat, I'm gonna wait. For it to dry completely and all I'm gonna have to do is just come back and with a 
it's pretty thick enough to not rip when I'm taking it out of the mat so I'm just gonna uh, peel it out and I can put it on another canvas I can put it on you know I can cut them up and put them on whatever um, I can cut them and put them on coasters I can put them on di so many different things Look at the details, very detailed. All these colors, the greens, the, the purples, they all turned out really, really, really good. Wow, beautiful. And we have a lot of, um, we have a lot of cells that developed because this, this painting, I mean this paint that I'm using is the paint that I use to do my acrylic pores. So, and I add um, Flotrol, so that's why you see so many cells. But I'm not, I, I'm not mad, I, I love these, I love it. Love it, love it. Wow, it is beautiful.